What's up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you uh, a little bit something different. So, um, usually um, I do like Pokemon news videos, but uh, news has been pretty slow. So, uh, news is kind of slow for right now. So, I'm gonna go and do something different. I'm gonna do, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take all the already announced Mega Pokemon and I'm going to analyze them um, for play in the metagame. You know, so I play a lot of, I, I play Pokemon competitively, you know, I play the metagame a lot, I play Pokemon Showdown, you know, if you want to check that out, it's a video right there, I do play Pokemon Showdown, um, and so, you know, I mean, I kind of, you know, I play in the metagame a lot, so I look at these mega Pokemon, and I, like, I try to see, you know, how they can play competitively, and so now I'm going to show you kind of what I was thinking about some of them, so I'm going to start off with the newest one, being Mega Metagross. This thing's a monster. Um, it, it's it's got uh, as well. Metagross is already a pretty balanced Pokemon. That's just tons of mixed sets, tons of different type of sets. You know, uh, defensive sets. You know, offensive sets. Attacking sets. Special attacking sets. Um, you know, it, all kinds of sets for Metagross. Um, but the Mega Metagross pretty much expounds on everything that was good about Metagross, which is incredible. You know, I mean, they've already confirmed that his stats were going to go up. Expen uh, we're going to go up all of them. So uh, let's go ahead and get into some analysis here. We're going to start off first with regular Metagross. All right, so regular Metagross is a steel. Psychic Pokemon, you know, he has pretty solid stats, um, his stat total puts him up there with some legends, like, uh, if he's up there with, like, Shaman and a few other legendary Pokemon, um, but, yeah, you know, his stats, uh, he has, uh, 80 HP, uh, which is okay, you know, 135 attack, physical attack, that's, that's, that's high, and that's without EV, so that means his attacks are amazing. Uh, 130 defense, which is also really good. Uh, he has, um, you know, 100. He has 95 special attack, 90, um, 90 special defense, which isn't bad. That's workable, and uh, 70 speed. So he's not that fast, but he couldn't be that fast. Thing is, though, if he was fast, he would be uh, way too OP. But um, yeah. So his stats are pretty balanced as it is, you know. Um. You know, he he his, he comes with uh, his normal um, abilities are um, light metal and clear body. You know, clear, uh, light metal being his hidden ability from Dream World, clear body being his normal ability to capture him with. Well, uh, what he captures, what he gets when he evolves. But um, yeah, you know, so Metagross is uh, already a pretty awesome Pokemon. I mean, Metagross can be pretty, um, right now in the current metagame, he's in UU, and he can be pretty, um, he can be a pretty big problem in UU, if you, if you let him get carried away, I mean, especially if you start setting up with things like Calm Mind, or Rock Polish, or something like that, he can, he can put a pretty big dent in your team, um, and then, they decided, some, some awesome person in the Game Freak decided, Hey, let's take this already awesome Pokemon and let's give him a mega evolution to make him amazingly powerful. And that's exactly what they did. So, um, Mega Metagross. So, Mega Metagross keeps its uh, steel psychic typing. It um, it loses clear body and light metal, which were okay, were okay abilities, and picks up tough claws. Alright, so tough claws, um, uh, man, Tough Claws, it, it's, it's an awesome ability for Metagross, but also it doesn't really give it that much diversity. You know, like, a Levitate would have been much better, because Levitate would, would um, grant it immunity from probably its biggest weakness, and that is ground types. But, uh, I have something for that too. Um, but Tough Claws is um, Mega Metagross's ability... And it basically gives you a 30% boost in your physical attacking moves. Um, so that coupled with his increased attack anyway from Mega Evolving, 
you know, makes him a monster. He is guaranteed. Mega Metagross is guaranteed to be banned from UU. Thank God. I don't want to deal with this thing. It's a freaking monster. Alright, so, Mega Metagross is stacked. Alright, so, they didn't have, they, Nintendo haven't officially released his stats yet, but, so, I mean, uh, so I kind of came up with my own, like, theoretical stat chart for Mega Metagross. So, here we go. So, um, 80 HP, you know, they left the HP alone, because, I mean, they already up all the rest of his other, um, stats, so there's no point in really giving him more HP and making him bulkier. Um, 165 attack. Alright, so they put 30 on his attack, bring him up to 165. I can kind of see that, you know, um, with tough claws and, you know, it'll just make him a, a, a physical monster. 20 on his defense, bringing him up to 150. Uh, basically putting, making him take a lot more damage. You know, from uh, physical moves like Earthquake or, or uh, Flare Blitz, which is probably the main ones he has to worry about. Um, then uh, 110 special attack, uh, 100 def uh, special defense, and 100 speed, which is ridiculous for Metagross. Because base 100 speed, you can actually build off of base 100 speed, uh, giving him a stat total of 700. Because with Mega Evolution, it adds an extra 100 points onto your stat total and then they just kind of sub they just kind of put it where they want to put it um but yep so this is my stats for mega uh metagross um what kind of sets you could run you can run all kinds of sets with this like personally what i would do is i would run a jolly metagross and put a lot of investment in speed and defense and then just use his already massive attack and tough claws um, to to basically outspeed and then punch holes in just about anything, you know um, that would work. Or you could go all out and you can be greedy and you know run an adamant you know Metagross and go all out with attack and speed uh, and just punch things in the face. You know uh, there's tons of sets you can run with this with this balance of. Um, Stats. I mean, you can even run special if you want to, but to me, it would be a waste of a 165 attack stat running a pure special. But it would surprise people, though, thinking, you know, expecting a physical attacker and they bring out their physical wall when actually he's a special attacker. Uh, or either, you know, I mean, uh, so let's get into the um, move set. The move set for at least the one I'm going to do for this video is a physical move set. Uh, for Mega Metagross, I mean, because not only is it a 90 power, 90 um, freaking uh, accuracy steel move, it's also Metagross's signature move, uh, and it can increase your already ridiculous attack. Uh, then you have Earthquake, which is another given, because uh, Earthquake hits, you know, fire types that might try to switch in on you. Um, you know, not to mention Earthquake is a super common move used in just about every meta game. Um, hammer Arm. Hammer Arm is to hit any other steals, any uh, dark types like uh, Umbreon or anything like that try to switch in on you. Even though this thing's going to be an OU, so Umbreon won't be much of a problem. Um, uh, then uh, the last but not least uh, is a your choice of moves either you can run bullet punch which is steel type uh, priority move and uh, for me priority is important like whenever I build teams there's at least two priority Pokemon uh, two move two Pokemon with priority moves on the team um, or you can run um, media uh, magnet rise and the reason I said magnet rise is because like I said, with um, when I was talking about his abilities, uh, uh, Levitate would be a perfect ability for um, Mega Metagross because it gets rid of one of his biggest weaknesses in this ground. So there's no Earthquake, no Bulldoze, no Earth Power, none of that stuff you have to worry about. But um, Magnet Rise gives you that without having to have Levitate. So with Magnet Rise, um, it's an electric type attack and basically 
negates gravity. So it gives you the levitate ability without having the levitate ability for I think it's three to five turns. Um, I think they changed it in Generation Six, but I'm thinking it's three to five turns, uh, which is just that's enough to get past you know a, a ground Pokemon or get past a Nidoking King or whatever it is about to come in and try to wreck you with an Earth with a ground move. You know, um, so this is my set. So this is this is the recommended set for Mega Metagross. If you like these videos, because I'm gonna do one for each of the confirmed Mega Evolutions for um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, leading up to the Mega Scoop next month. Uh, so if you like these videos, just hit like, um, subscribe, comment, and tell me what sets you would use, and uh, keep it real.